Did the same for the other uh the, the two by four that's going to be the center pieces uh but so one portion will be glass and then the rest rest will be i said tongue and groove because uh, these will be joined together flat uh the sides were cut with the uh with the shirt, uh, table saw and sanded uh, so they're actually kind of almost plain but it's a little bit too big and too, too much of a hassle uh, i can show you what it actually what it ends up being which is just you know, amazing. I already showed you other ones, but this is what I end up doing with multiple passes with the planer and then sanding it off. Um, what I've been doing is setting 164th. <laughs> Is I'm going to go over with the sander. I have it in gear drive mode just to get that little extra tough just because this is pretty rough. I'm using a, I could go probably go with 80, but I'm going to go with 180 just to keep it soft or not too, so I don't want to dig in, but I also want to get rid of these rough spots. <laughs> Join together to make them a large enough that it'll go between the two uh, vertical positions. Okay, to get all the pins in here lined up, uh, just smooth the glue out here. Because yeah. I have the the footer, or that's what I'm calling the footer. There's the, the wide bottom uh, horizontal pieces, and then that'll be the, the top one that I, I just glued. This is the full vertical position of the door, and I just used the dado to cut a three inch groove all the way down. So I have this the stack dado with um, two blades and a chipper inside. It's cut to the, uh, again, three inch width when you put all three of them together. And then I mark the center of the board or center of the board. So I just set up the, um, I need to create the, the dado or the, the, the mortise that's going to go into the slots. And here's the, here's the two vertical sides of the door. So it'll fit in the slots yeah, like that. So we had this double piece that I glued together. Uh, again, the single here and another double at the top. And so I set the, the dado blade here to the height. What I had to do was <clears throat> measure the width of the board. I needed a 3 8 inch slot or the, the board here, the tenon, I always forget the two. Um, and then, so that minus what I needed gives me these total gap and then divided by two. So that gives me on the, uh, on the vertical over there was an inch and a half. So set an inch and a half to the furthest point here, just to make it smooth so that it'll fit in there tight. Uh, as you can see, so it's gonna fit in there just like that, and then half inch into the bottom here. And then the uh, tongue groove will be half inch on either of these side. So I had to uh, set the dado to half inch deep and run both sides end up with that shape like that. <clears throat> so again, this is tongue that's going to fit into the groove part on the right on the side and then the, the the dado i guess kind of a tongue here that's going to take so the glass will span from here to here so as i just show you sitting on top i haven't actually put it in the groove so you can see here's the uh the top portion the glass the middle and then the bottom and again the tongue and groove going between there and then the glass which is three inch thick fits into these three inch inch i'm about to glue these together so i just need to get glue all and joints as best i can i'm going to put some inside this side as well, and the side with the, the glass is not going to have. Top in the middle in quickly with the glue on it. I said, just need to put this out of the rail on this side. Now I'm going to clamp, and I'm actually not going to glue at the bottom just because I'm, I'm going to put the uh, tongue and groove in last and kind of slide it in, but I'll put it in when I'm clamping it to hold it. Uh, glued up here. I use the uh, 
clamp on the top and the bottom so it doesn't pull uneven. Uh, again, the middle part's clamped. It's got the same top and bottom to kind of equalize the pressure. Right, I have this clamp down here at the bottom, even though it's dry, it's not, it's not glued, just so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna put the uh, tongue and groove in later, but I want it to be, make sure it's square. So I measured the angles, uh, they were equal. Uh, measured the distance from the top to the bottom here, so this is square right here. Uh, it's all glued in. I've seen this in other doors, I decided to do it as well, is to take a screw and put it in diagonal. I think uh, it may not hold it or it may not do much more, kind of overkill even the glue. You can see glue's coming out here, so that's good. So it's, I know it's got in the joints deep. I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna start uh, cutting the, the, the tongue and groove and put it in here. Once I got my tongue and groove together here, uh, three pieces, dual-sided. Um, I'm just kind of holding it together pretty good. <clears throat> but it's just a rough cut. Uh, you can see it's a little bit. Uh, but I ran out of clamps here, but it's good enough. I've used these six by six two as a stiff board to, to hold down the, uh, the middle pieces. And then I uh, nailed in, or nailed together the dual sides and then gluing it so it should be good enough. Again, it's not structural support. It just keep it from sliding around in the um, inside the door. Finished doing the dado on both sides. I can see it's pretty centered. These things are glued, so it's not perfect, uh, but it's three eighths inch all the way down. I'm uh, gonna make the door frame now. It's uh, five quarters of an inch because I need to cover the internal dimensions of the door and then account for the side, uh, or the, the siding on each side, and I can go straight with it. Um, went to the store, they only had, they didn't have the five and a half or five and a quarter that I needed. Uh, so I just found this, uh, whatever it is, one by 12 or something like this, it's a little over 11 inches. So I'm just gonna uh, set the cable saw to five and a quarter here and then just rip it the length. I've already cut the, what I needed and I'll flip it over and then I'll take the other piece and cut it so I can get my two pieces of the, the door frame out. Just a better view of it, you can see it as well. Um, but on this side, so it's three and a half inches, um, I had to block this out. Uh, but then there's a three eighths inch uh, the strapping that I put on here, and the siding, it's not gonna be finished like this, but the siding is gonna sit on top of this, uh, this way. And then on the outside, I have siding as well, which is 11 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, three eighths, but everything added up. Um, so this will be like this, and so that the siding, or the, these out, exterior will come up flush with here so that when you put the um the edge around here or the casing it can sit flush up here and flush up here tall and it'll be i'll have to cut the five and a quarter here and then the other piece is going to go down there and then the door attaches to the frame laying out the frame here so you see i cut off the top and i've got the two pieces actually looked at the door and kind of it's not perfect it's like pretty good um, there's like a slight bow to it so anyways i laid it out so that the frame matches it time at the beginning uh, avoid any problems um it's so what i'm doing is putting screws in here it's actually pretty long screws but these are uh, some premium screws here that are going to only go in two and a half inches again it's somewhat a little bit overkill because it's you're not taking any um, weight here but i like to just make sure it's as, as uh, sturdy as possible when i'm building just because it's just a, it's, it's always a hassle with the weight and everything get out of square. Here's the completed door. So I added some, just made some little custom handles here to put on there. This is the, the glass. That's all hung on here like normal. I didn't, I didn't show this, but just normal uh, with the hinges and then put it on here as well. Same thing on the front. Just made a little quick handle. Uh, this is a spring loaded, just so it can that you can never lock. Had to put the, the magnet in here that corresponds with the little door sensor. Uh, and then I also put seal all the way around the door. And as well, I put a, um, a door sweep on the bottom here just to, to seal in the heat 